No worries. Okay. <laughs> There's no red. Okay, hi. I'm Maureen Cohen Harrington. I'm the director of Skate DC Weekend. I've been skating with Washington Area Road Skaters since 1996. I've been to so many skate events, and this is my favorite. The combination of the large group, diverse group of skaters, every kind of diversity, like including skate diversity, which is the coolest thing of all. It's, you know, people with their tricks or their speed or their different abilities, their jumps. You've got the cars and, and the traffic and the big buildings, and it's just, it's a constant obstacle course. And just the ultimate freedom. I do want to say one more thing about New York. Because of the pandemic and other circumstances, I missed the last two big Apple Rolls and haven't been here for other skating. Normally I come here for other things. I felt like part of my soul was still here. Like it, it just, it was so invigorating to be back among this city and its skaters again. We are, we are an awesome community of skaters, so let's keep it awesome, be good citizens of the street, be good citizens to each other, so look out for each other, make sure you're being respectful of one another. Thank you. Um, okay, this is a Wednesday night skate. Welcome, we're happy to have you. Uh, for the following skate for Big Alpha Road, these will be the staff skirts, so you'll see those starting tomorrow. is the best skating place. Um, it just has everything and it even has great vegan food for when you're done skating and you're starving and need to refuel. As far as actually getting someone into skating, my partner Jonathan, who's here this weekend as well, he dabbled in skating a little bit before, mostly skateboarding, and he took up skating because of me and now he's great at it. Right. He's faster than I am. Don't publish that part though. <laughs> As one of the organizers for Washington Area Road Skaters, at first we had the lockdown and the masks and the debate about masks. And, uh, but eventually, like in most places, COVID actually helped build the skate community. We have so many new skaters now, whether they are new to skating altogether or whether they um, dusted their skates off and took them out again during the pandemic. And it's just been wonderful. It almost feels like the 90s again. <laughs> Oh man, the Olympics. We've been burned by the Olympics so many times. They've considered skating and um, I guess as you know a lot of the best inline skaters have competed in the Olympics but as ice skaters so we know them and I've done the Montreal 24-hour relay and in off Olympic years a lot of Olympians compete in that as well. It's kind of cool to meet them and see them skate up close and uh, I guess speed skating would be more conducive um, to an Olympic sport. If you have the skills, this is not a beginner skate, um, if you've got the skills to handle yourself on streets and in crowds, this is the place to be. There's nothing else like it.
when I came here, I was like a new guy and it was like so uncomfortable for me because I was the first in my country, yeah, and everybody who came, they was new. And that day, I was new and I've met like a lot of beautiful people. Don't be scared to play, it. just skate. <laughs> officially the first skate of the Big Apple Roll 2021 and we're going up to Randall's Island up the east side and we're going to do about five miles on Randall's Island. Before that though we're going to go to a uh, skating rink, hockey rink, spend a few minutes there and after Randall's we're going to go to a skate park, have a pizza lunch and then back to the hotel. So I'm pretty psyched, it's got a nice group, let's do it. Thank you Jim. Right now we are at the first avenue, 84th Street. Our usual beautiful downhill. Now we are gonna go right through. Let's go, I race you! <laughs> Well, I have been skating in New York for the last four years and the first time when I joined in the community was I guess like I saw actually the big apple roll on the street and I was like what a crazy crowd and I really want to join so I look for the, uh, the skaters community on the internet and I found them and joined immediately and I met amazing people from different parts of the country, the world, so yeah, here I am.
I'm originally from Tokyo. I'm a foreigner. But as soon as I joined in the skating community, these people were so welcoming, so nice. And absolutely different types of people. I have been hanging out. So it was just like, it totally opened the door for me to New York. So yeah, I really appreciate the community. And now I'm one of their organizing member. So I really want to contribute to further, you know, nurture the community. И вот у меня друг Миша, который на самом деле оказался, что он говорит по-русски. Кстати, я тоже говорю по-русски. Вот такое multilingual skating community, yeah. isn't it? Right? Yeah, it is very, very multilingual. I'm Michael. Uh, what do I say? <laughs> yeah, I've been skating my whole life since I was a kid. And uh, kind of like I was on and off. I was always a solo skater uh, until uh, I just decided to like find some meetups and uh, just met this community. And after that, I'm... Yeah, I go every Wednesday and uh, you know now I try to skate as much as possible with the group. It's ma amazing and just like uh, she said it's very opening like everyone is like so uh, the doors are open for everyone for like all nations all people which is awesome. So, so. so what's your first impression about today's skate? Uh, today, today, I, I actually did the Thursday night skate. Uh, I'm usually like more of a speed skater but like uh, I, uh, I went to a Thursday night skate where it was like a lot of tri tricky and trickster people and it was really cool. Uh, I was able to see some stuff that I've only seen on TV. They were like doing crazy grinds and stuff. But it was really fun. It was uh, awesome just seeing that and now uh, meeting up with everyone else. So. Well, I'm personally super excited that the New York State Marathon is back for this year after one year of break. I think it's happening in the middle of September. Well, I'm not a speed skater at all. I'm not the fastest people. But still, it's super open for everyone, so I'm really excited to try it next uh, this year. Me too. Me too. It's gonna be my, my first. Uh, it's gonna be my first skate marathon, and I'm excited. Like, um, maybe it's gonna be the first of many. You know, I also heard there's like big ones in Berlin, so maybe next year I'll go to Berlin at the same time. So, so yeah, so pretty excited for that. Before my brother went to high school, he was skating and he did some tricks and he broke his leg really badly. So after that, he doesn't skate anymore. So. Well, <laughs> that, kind of, that, that kind of took us into different routes. So I went skating around and he went biking. So, so. You know, so like nowadays, actually, I don't hide anymore that I'm a skater at my work. So I bring my skates to the work and actually so many of my colleagues are asking like, oh, what is that? How do you do it? Can you teach me? I have been interested. So it's a, actually a great conversation starter, even in the office too. Same here, same here. Right? All the yeah. Time. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad that I have skating in my life because it has been really hard. Like everyone is on the bubble and we had such a limited opportunity to hang out with other people. So skating was the way for me to get reconnected with other people. So I really. I'm thankful to skating and actually the skating community in New York got doubled or tripled through the, uh, the pandemic. So yeah, I think everyone is kind of sharing the same feeling. I, I agree. I, yeah, I think uh, there's a lot of new skaters that just started skating because of the pandemic because they were like so cooped up and they wanted to find something uh, 
new to do that's outside and uh, that's why there's so many skaters who are like born this year or last year basically so that's it's pretty cool. New York ni kitara so he wants to night skate in Sanka Stene. Uh katasa na rolikach New York is очень классно. Я рекомендую всем это делать. И да, да. I'm from Chicago and uh, I'm with the uh, Windy City Skaters and uh, the first time that I came to New York for the Big Apple Roll was in 2015 and uh, I had a great time then and uh, it was one of my first uh, big social skating events over the weekends and uh, that really you know motivated or inspired me uh, to you know create a weekend long skate event with my very good friend Oshik Park here. Like I think at the age of eight, my parents got me a hand-me-down pair of skates, but uh, I didn't really start to really enjoy skating until like I was age of 13 and you know, uh, I was initially playing roller hockey, uh, but uh, I stopped playing the game and I just really enjoyed skating, you know, for its own sake. And um, I'm very fortunate to have found this group in Chicago called Windy City Skaters, and I've been skating with them for the last 11 years. So I am always amazed at how organized and uh, how many people come out to the you know the Friday night skates here in New York and uh, there's so much passion there's so much energy and you can really feel it and people are so excited and happy to be here and uh, it just you know it adds to everything about the Big Apple Roll it's one of my favorite skates on you know I as much as I love Chicago you know the lakefront path I have to say Central Park holds a special place in my heart.
Angelia. I am a speed skater here in New York City. I'm originally from Seattle, and like I mentioned, I usually do speed skating. Hi, I'm Sarah. I am a speed skater. I'm originally from High Point, North Carolina, um, but I live here in Astoria, New York, and I normally skate on speed skates. I think it was a really great skate. I don't think I've ever been on a skate before where I had to try less to be on time. We had a really strong group tonight. I don't know if it's because everyone just took up skating during the pandemic and got really freaking good at it, but everyone was, was really strong. Like I didn't have to worry about the back. Like The group was tight. I mean, it was a great skate. Like. It's like a lot of times like you come off of a skate and like people are like, what a great skate. And you're like, great. That was like a nightmare as a leader. Um, but I mean, obviously it was like a lot of fun too. But like today it was like a lot of fun to be a leader too, which I feel like it's a little bit rare that you have just as much fun as the skaters. So, so we were the leaders for today's skate, uh, which is awesome to be able to lead the Big Apple Rolls Friday night skate, which is, I think, it's safe to say one of the main skates that we yeah, do, the one that people come out for. So to be able to say that at the very beginning, hey, I'm Angelia, this is Sarah, we're the ladies that are going to be leading you tonight. I think that's awesome. I don't know if they've had that before at the yeah. Apple Roll. I'm almost positive that I was the very first female leader of any Big Apple Roll skate ever, and that was two years ago in 2019. I led the Friday Night Skate, so to have two women leading the skate is like freaking amazing. I love it. And I'm just saying, it went very well. It went very well. We were very on top of it. Really the women do it better. Obviously. Okay, so I was actually taught how to skate in Central Park um, six years ago by Michael Grubinski, who was also on the skate. Um, and I started as a social skater, and I just skated around in the streets before I decided I wanted to go really fast. So that's my skating story. And yours is a lot longer. I mean, um, a little simpler. Uh, so I, like I mentioned, I'm from Seattle, Washington and I just ended up at a skating rink for a school field trip and loved it even though I fell many many times during my first time but I kept wanting to go back. Eventually my whole family got into it, we got roped into going to the speed team, I loved racing, I loved beating people, uh, that's what really drew me to it. So I did that for middle school, high school and then stopped for a few years and moved here where everyone just turned me into a street skater <laughs> slash distance skater which I never was. Uh, but I'm so happy that they did. We went down 7th Avenue in New York uh, and this was on our way to Times Square and uh, it was just like you see all the billboards and all the lights and everybody just skating down and there's just so much energy you know energy in the place and the crowds and the people and you know you just you just feel it and like all of the pedestrians you know they they are so excited when they see us just coming down and they, they don't know what's going on and it just it adds to all of the excitement and it, it really it's like it's this uh, it's a magical moment you know when we when we really come down you know and uh, it's it's not something that you know you, you have to be there to feel it it's like it's it's really special yeah.
talk about my favorite place to skate because it's a secret. Angelie has been there, but she's one of the few that's let in. <laughs> I sworn to secrecy. Other than that, <laughs> other than that, I really like to skate in Prospect Park. Can we give a hint that like Bar went there this year? Yeah, Bar went there this year. So if you find it, let me know. It, but you have but, to think about it. <laughs> yeah, if you if you find it, I'll tell Stay you away. that you're right. But I'm not gonna give it away. I'm hoping to go to some more marathons this year. I went to Skate of the Union a couple months ago, and it was fantastic. She came in Great second. Event. Sarah came in third. Um, so that was really fun. I didn't die in the marathon, so um, kind of want to go to at least a few more. There's one in Prospect Park in the city that's coming up in September. Uh, so that'll be fun to do. Yeah. So from here, I'm actually going to head to Team USA Trials in Gainesville, Georgia, of all places, in about three to four weeks. It's over Labor Day weekend. And then from there, I head almost directly to Minnesota for the North Shore Inline Marathon which is a really big one every year. It's easily the largest inline skating marathon in the United States. Um, from there, I'll head to the Berlin Inline Marathon in Europe. And then after that, I'll be at the Florida Inline Skating Marathon, which looks like it's gonna be super big this year, and I hope it's gonna be really popular. We actually have the event organizer here, Mike Mason. I don't know where he is, um, but he is awesome. It's its inaugural year, so I really wanna pub that. And then after that- equal cash prizes to the men and yes. the women. Equal cash prizes to men and women, and like for those of you guys that don't skate competitively, like that's huge. That's huge. Um, and then after that, I'll be at Athens to Atlanta, which I am going to convince Angelia to come to. Oh, good luck. She doesn't know it yet, but she's coming. The 38 miles. You're going to do the 38 miles. Come on, it's easy. Do it. Come on. It's not a. It's not a race. It's a road skate. Oh sure, that's what they say for nice. reasons. Reasons. I know the story. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cut that out. <laughs> entertaining than a lot of the sports that are in the Olympics. It's like the closest thing you're going to get to human NASCAR. Like there are crashes. There is drama. There's, there's fouls. Yes. There's people so pushing. Much, yeah. There's pushing, shoving, grabbing by the hips and throwing off the track. There's so much stuff. It's so entertaining. Make it happen. Speed skating is so entertaining. You don't even know. You know, I think before COVID hit, I was one of those people that had this two year plan month by month and I was forced to just abandon all of that and put everything on pause. And at the time, I really wasn't spending that much time on skating, and it, it was the only thing that we could do in the pandemic, being outside and you know controlling what we could, and it helped me just fall back in love with it. it almost like impacted it for the better, because we were, since 
my job was made to work remotely. Like I had more time for training so I could get really serious about speed skating in a way that I couldn't before when I was commuting to an office nine to five. So um, like the lifestyle, like the pandemic has been like truly terrible, but the, like the lifestyle changes that it's brought about um, has have been like really great for me. Like being able to work remotely full time has been like amazing. So. Katja, um, I came here to New York from Germany and um, yeah, I did the last three days the New York as a Big Apple roller skate and yeah, I had a great time here and yeah, I'm skating since I'm um, little but I had a short break in skating but at the time I went to uh, the US to Chicago uh, I joined a skating group, that's how I got back to skating and yeah, now I'm here. <laughs> uh, in my hometown, I live in a small town, there's not really a skating group, like mostly I go skating on my own. Like when I skate back in Germany, uh, I have some friends who are skating with me, but they're, most of my friends, they're yeah, like more the slower skaters, that's why mostly if, like, to get some exercise I do it on my own. Yeah. Why do you love me? <laughs> okay, here. Yeah, to New York. Um, I, yeah, I came with my friends, like from Chicago, uh, from LA. Some people came. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I get it. My expectations were, were very high and I like it very much. I really enjoy skate all around New York City with this uh, Big Apple Roll. Well, I was walking around Central Park and I saw like a big skate party and I just decided to sit next to, to them and see what's going on. And one guy 
came to me and we started to talk and he, had, he invited me to skate to Wednesday night skate, so that's why, how I started. I would like to say to all my Mexican friends that if they ever come to New York City and they like to skate, they should get in contact with Wednesday Night Skate or Big Apple Road because it's one of my best experience I ever had. And I would love that all my friends and everybody can have this beautiful experience.